Hi, my name is Alex Bale, and I'm a fourth grade teacher at Clear Lake City Elementary in Clear Creek ISD. And based on the readings and the videos that we watched this week, the thing that really stuck out to me was actually coaching versus feedback. Um, I really liked and appreciated Marcus Buckingham's video on that in looking at social media, people really just want attention, not feedback, um, that it causes anxiety. And honestly, this idea of even t-testing of your um, of your administrator coming in, you feel like it's more of a critique. You feel like it's more of um, focusing on negative feedback instead of positive feedback. And so this idea of coaching is a little different because you're asking questions on where they think they are and where they want to go and then giving them tools and resources to achieve those goals or allowing them to see, hey, I saw this. What if you did this? And so you're coaching them um, to become better. And uh, I know I referenced this in the last video, but getting better faster, um, helping teachers get better in 90 days. Uh, it's tangible. It's a rubric. And then it's like, hey, you're here. We, you want to get here. What if we just did this small tweak? And I think that that's empowering, empowering. And I think that that is a great way um, to demonstrate teacher leadership. And I think that that can even be done, not necessarily in the context of um, academic coaches that are on campus. Um, on our campus, we have we have a tech coach, a math coach, and a literacy coach, and I love them. But I think that this can also be done in the context of that. Uh, that peer collaboration or that critiquing friend of coming into each other's classrooms and saying, hey, this was awesome. Um, what do you, how did you feel about it? And then, hey, but what if you just did this? Like next time, just do this like tiny little change um, and giving each other feedback. Um, when it comes to that peer collaboration, um, I feel like we do have this culture on our campus where I will, I can know that the strengths, um, the strengths of the people in my PLC, or in this case, the community or practice, where we are a community that's brought together. Um, in the very first article and in, in the introduction to COPs, um, that we have a common domain. And so for me, my PLC is mathematics. And I have a community, um, we do a vertical alignment from third, fourth, and fifth grade. And, um, and then we practice. And so we come up with a plan and we put it into practice and we reflect on it. And, but we all do it differently. And so I know that I can go and I know my weaknesses and I can go to someone who has that as their strength and I can go and I can observe and I can learn from them. And I can then have like a, just a brief meeting. It doesn't have to be more than five or 10 minutes and we can collaborate together of how I can implement that thing. Or maybe how did they plan it? Just this week, I went into a fifth grade classroom. They were instituting, um, an escape room um, to see how that changed uh, student engagement and the conversions of measurement. And they were so engaged. And so I got some resources. I got some information. I saw how it was rolled out. I saw the kids engaged. And I was like, okay, how can I implement this in my next planning meeting with, with my team, which I would consider not my PLC, but I would consider that my peer collaboration in, in, in a smaller sense of these are the people that I work with every single day. We're teaching the same bit of curriculum and how can we work together to get, to get better? And so um, I just think when it comes to teacher leadership on campus, it's how involved and committed are you going to be? You know, do you love what you do? And if you love what you do, you want to rub up against with other people um, to see what they're doing um, and then also, if you're whatever it is you're doing and working, you don't want to keep that in the closet. You want to share it out. And so I know I mentioned that last week. And so I think that if you want to get better, you're going to be looking for um, you're going to look you're going to want to look for coaching elements. You're going to want to come up against with your friends and your peers um, and your communities of practice. And you're going to want to work together to uh, to figure this thing out. And I am so grateful that I'm on a campus that these things are being lived out. Um, I would say that we probably have a lot more feedback on our campus. Um, and I would really like to see more coaching. And um, 
not coaching necessarily in the big picture element, but how can we break these big picture ideas into small tangible steps a little bit at a time? And so anyway, I really have loved the reading so far um, in these videos, and I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you.